Hey there, this is Robert Dempsey at MyThaiAdventure.com and I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of our first rental house uh, in Thailand. And this house belonged to the aunt of my wife and is in Plapak, Thailand, which is where my wife is from. So and the first house, uh, that, or the, the first picture that we see is the front of the house in which we have been staying for the past week. And this house is very typical of Thai houses in the area. And in fact, the, the first floor used to be set up as a, uh, as a shop. And so from the front of the house, we move into the front room, which is a very uh, large front room. Uh, there was, uh, as we can see on the left here, as we switch pictures again, uh, there's a seating area, kind of a traditional Thai couch, a few traditional Thai couches. They're these really big, like uh, wooden couches that they then put uh, mats on. And uh, so that's what we would see when we enter in and we look on the left of the house. Now, going, uh, looking towards the back, this is the, the entrance to the back room of the house, which is pretty much the, the same size, if not, I think, actually bigger than that front room. And here we see um, another picture um, of the, the back room facing towards the back of the house. And if we look right, uh, then we see uh, the right side of the room, which is where I've been actually working from, at least at nighttime. In the, in the daytime, I would work in the front of the house, uh, facing outward so I could see what's going on in the street. Um, the whole front of the house, as you could see, is windows. But at nighttime, I would come in the back. We would kind of shut the shades, shut the other doors. They're tinted, uh, and I would work in the, the back room there. And the, this next picture, we can see just another kind of shot of this back of the room from the back of the back room. Uh, so then, if we look left, then we can see the uh, the entrance to the bathroom area. Now, the inside of this, the bathroom was actually on the left, and then there's this, uh, what I would kind of call a staging area, but this is actually where you um, you have your clothes and you, you get dressed and whatnot. Now, in the, the bathroom, and this is a very typical Thai bathroom, on the right of the bathroom, you have the toilet, and uh, if you saw my post, Beware the Squatters, this is not one of those squatting toilets. This is what I refer to as a semi-American standard toilet. It's not the full-size toilet that uh, we Americans are used to, but it's fairly close. However, there is no flushing of this toilet, and so that's why you have that bucket there on the right. You fill up the bucket. You have this really big dish that you then kind of scoop the water uh, out of this big bucket and dump it down the toilet, and that's <laughs> that's how you flush the toilet. Now, on the left side of the bathroom, after you enter in, is what almost looks like a tub, but it's this enormous basin for water. And now, typically, in a traditional Thai house, you do not have hot water. And so what they would do is they fill up this big basin with water, and then they have a kind of a scooper, like another little kind of uh, bucket, or we actually bought these a big plastic scooper thing. So it looks almost like a, a pot, but it's plastic. And so you scoop the water and dump it over yourself. And that's, uh, we didn't use that basin because it is cold water. And here, uh, for the most part though, you don't mind a cold, a cold shower. It's actually really nice because it's hot in Thailand a majority of the time. Um, however, in the center of the bathroom, and that takes us to this next picture, there is um, up on the wall this heating element where uh, the water runs through it, you flip a switch, you turn it on, and it will heat up the water. And what we had was this like garbage can sized thing uh, that would actually hold the, the hot water. And so we would fill up this uh, fill up this like garbage can with hot water and then you know get ourselves wet, sew ourselves up, and uh, dump water on ourselves again and and get nice and clean. So that's the the bathroom and I know my friend Dan Benjamin was really curious about that especially but yeah, so we got the the whole house that we're going through here. Now, towards the in the back of that that back room, we have stairs that lead upstairs. And so this picture is from the upstairs hall upstairs hall area. So once you walk up, you have this hall. You have two bedrooms on the left. And you also have another kind of staging or a, a changing area. And in this picture, you can also see that there are some other dressers there on the right. Now. The first bedroom uh, was uh, locked uh, by the my wife's aunt because uh, she was using it for storage right now. So we stayed in that second bedroom that was at the front of the house. And so here you can see a picture of that 
bedroom. And we had what's effectively like a king size bed, a nice kind of hard traditional Thai mattress. You can't see it in this picture, but there was a uh, a um, an air conditioner up at the top. And this was actually the only room in the house that had air conditioning. Everything else has a lot of fans. There are a lot of ceiling fans all over in these traditional Thai houses. Because air conditioning, really, electricity can get really expensive. And they prefer to open up the windows. The houses have a lot of windows. You just open up the windows. It's very open, generally speaking. And the wind blows through it. It's, it's very nice. I knew my mom would, <laughs> would absolutely love that. So now this next picture is if we exited the bedroom and we looked right. This is the what this upstairs uh, staging area kind of looks like. And towards the back, there's a door for the back porch. And this next picture is the back porch. And interestingly enough, on the back porch on the second floor is where the washer was. Now, there is no dryer, at least uh, like in my wife's, or rather my mother-in-law's house or our aunt's house, there is no dryer. Uh, basically, we had clotheslines, so we would wash the, the clothes, so we would put them up on the clotheslines, and literally, uh, some hours later, they were, they were dry. And again, when it's warm, you know, nice breezes, etc., then you have, uh, you know, it's very easy to dry clothes, and they'll even dry overnight. And so this last picture, too, that you see is a picture of the town, kind of, or at least part of the town, but a view that you have from that upstairs porch. So, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the, the house, of the aunt's house that we've been staying at. Uh, currently, we are moving, uh, we already moved all of our stuff out of that house. Uh, we are going to a hotel for a number of days and getting ready to go to Phuket, which is in the, the south of Thailand. Uh, it's looking like we can probably rent a, a nice beachfront place, one or two bedroom, uh, probably like a kind of American style bathroom there for around like five, six hundred dollars a month and we're going to be down there for a bit. There are a lot of European tourists down there. There's a lot of business going on. It's a, another bigger city and so we're going to be driving from here taking either a, it's up for debate how long we'll be taking but we'll be taking some time to drive down to Phuket so we can take our motorcycle with us, take all of our stuff. Our dog Lilo will be staying here at my mother-in-law's place and uh, and so some of the next videos, some of the next pictures that you see from me will be of uh, the place in Phuket. So again, I hope you enjoyed this movie. And if you have any questions about Thailand or anything, in, uh, you know, or how they live, the culture, whatever, please definitely let me know. I have a contact form at mythaiadventure.com. You can fill out, and if you ask me a question, I will get it answered for you. So I'm Robert Dempsey at My Thai Adventure. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.